the thing you have with Rob and Russell is for whatever reason, they are now icons on our show. I'm good at this game. This is what God has made me for. It's like I've been climbing this mountain for almost 10 years now, and I'm not going to quit until I get to the top. When the live finale of Heroes vs. Villains was going on, and at one point Rob said to Russell, I would gladly take you on anytime, anywhere. When have you won? I haven't. But I guarantee, saying. given the opportunity, I'd gladly go back and kick your ass all over the ice. Rob, you know, when he's talking all that mess at the live show, you know, I ain't seen him since then. He took off running. You want me to talk about that little hobbit? You want me to? Let's go in the back room and settle this. That's how I want to deal with it. I want to get in a cage with that dude. I want, I want blood to be shed. I'm going to kick his ass. I'm going to make him pay. LeBron James, two-time MVP. Russell Hance, two-time MVP. You know the difference between us? Nothing. He's a legend in his own mind. And I can feel the energy. I believe the audience is going to love it. I don't think anybody is gonna be tired of seeing Russell. He's too polarizing. And if you hated him the first two times, you have to watch so you can enjoy hating him again. The image I have is the villain, it's fine with me because that's how I play the game. But the thing is, America, they vote for me every time. They like the way I play, so that's all that matters to me. Boston Rob is fascinating in that he started as a villain. I'm a villain? <laughs> he was despised by people, and somehow he transformed into a hero. I feel like I've done my best every time I played and I've always done what I said I was gonna do. I mean, I played this game three times. A lot's gone wrong every time. I'm hoping that this time I can make something go right. This is it. It's Hail Mary time, and I, I either do it or I don't. I don't think you have the guts to do what I did. I'm ready for this one. I'm more ready for this one than I ever have been, ever. I'm ready to run somebody over if I have to. I'm ready to do whatever it takes. What you see is what you get. If you don't like it, get out of the way, because it's coming. It is going to be history. Survivor history.